important. But what about art in your very own garden in the back of your home? Well, our next guest creates art with a torch and a welding mask, and she got me into this outfit. Welcome, please, artist Mickey Champagne Voorhees. Hi, Mickey. Thanks for coming in Hi, today. Hi, Asha. You're welcome. Glad to be here. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're here and uh, have me dressed in this fabulous little getup. Stylish. Stylish. Thank you. Well, we're going to get to the welding in just a minute, but first, let's take a look at some other types of garden art that your friends have done. All mediums. Uh, clay for hanging on side of fences, garden sheds, anything like that. Nice earrings. I need some of those. <laughs> Beautiful glass, blown glass that can just tuck in plants to catch light at any time. Okay. Um, Buddha for good luck in the garden, stained concrete. Everybody needs luck in the garden, as far as I'm concerned. Me. Now, what do we have over here? A bird bath, uh, made by a friend. Fused glass can also second as a salad bowl in last minute. <laughs> and I love this. It really holds up outside, right? Yes. They are very, very durable. Actually, it does seem pretty sturdy. Well, let's take a look at some of your art right over here. Why don't we walk this way? And tell me, we've got what looks like the sun and stars over there. Yeah, actually a piece that is in one of the castles in Salzburg, a similar piece, but um, my rendition. Um, and over here? And then this one, just kind of a Pacific Northwest feel of a heron, cedar tree, cattails, ferns. So Mickey, tell me what inspires you to do these great pieces. Probably nature and humor and listening to what people love in their home, in their garden, and what I love and love to do. All right, let's walk on over here and get me inspired and in doing some welding. All right, now I have never welded before. Is that going to be a problem? No. Oh, I like that. She says <laughs> that with confidence. Let's do the hat first. Let's get that on. Is this right? Yep. Okay, hang on a second. Okay. I feel like I'm in the movie Flash Dance. All right. And then okay. Turn on the welder. Okay. Little button down there. And then right. Oh, well, oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> Try not to give yourself brain damage. <laughs> Welder is on. Okay, so pick your piece. You need Alrighty. to pick a little piece oh, to, to adorn your hat. So I can pick out a little piece in here, right? Yeah. Something that's beautiful. I love this flower, that's really pretty. How about this little bright yellow piece? Perfect. The little handle looks like a faucet handle. I just wanna. So you just place it right there? Yeah, make sure you have metal to metal. I'll hold it for you. Okay, I like that and plan. You're gonna pull the gun okay. and actually connect from piece to piece. All right, you have your mask on? I do. Okay, good. All right, ready? Here we go. Ooh. Not enough? No, no, no. Hold it on there. There you go. And move your hand. This way. No more. That's kind of scary at first. No more. Okay. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> just hit the... Just <laughs> <laughs> but we can see what I've done already, yeah. can't we? Yeah. What have I done? Okay, that's Mickey. really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my first piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sure that if you try this at home, yours will turn out much better than mine. But it was a lot of fun to try and to practice and to see what it looks like. Let me turn the welder off. There we go. Let me take the hat off. Let's take a look at some of your artwork and see what it looks like when you're really practice and uh, do a good job. Actually, I have the most favorite thing in the world I love to make. Okay, and what would that be? That would be garden high heels. These are beautiful. How did you get the idea to do this? And do you have it in my size, size six? Nope, seven and a half. All are seven and a half. And I'm a shoe lover. So I decided to try make money at shoes instead of spending money on shoes. Are people buying this for their gardens? Yes. And how long does it take to make? Oh, probably each shoe. Each shoe, um, they're different again, but anywhere from half hour to an hour. Oh, these are really cute. This is great garden art. Mickey, thanks so much for coming in today. This was great fun, I have to tell you, and I, I really want to try this again. Maybe I'll get a little bit better because I think it's great fun. Anyway, moving right along, plants need a little bit of help when it comes to elements of nature like cold or drought or even shade. Have you ever had a tough time finding plants for a shady location? Well, smart gardening correspondent. Deanna Connell went searching for some advice on how to choose a plant for that spot in the shade. <laughs> 